It's pretty difficult to kick the king. King Chim Chim? Isn't that the huge one? I guess we should start looking for places where King Chim Chim could be hiding. King Chim Chim attacks by jumping on you, so watch out. I wonder where he is.
Keep it up! What's that? It's a new way. Haseo, it's a new way. We've got to kick it. Huh? Um, Haseo, King Chim Chim will show up if you kick the new way. What? So, we just need to kick it. over with. Hand that over.
I knew you could do it. Phew! <laughs> I thought we were gonna turn into pancakes. <sighs> we need to go to the quest shop.
for coming today. Yeah. So, would you please invite me to your party? The two of us will be heading to Delta Submissive Tragedy's Thousand Oaks. If you think you're bothering me, don't send me an email in the first place. <laughs> this is one of my very favorite areas. The moon tonight looks even prettier than usual. Prettier than usual? Yeah, right. Come on. I mean, this is just an online game. Now then, let's go find the beast statue.
What is this, a robot? Course unknown. Fuel insufficient. Function shut down. Emergency landing. Passing life form detected. Begin fuel request. Beep. Hey, bro, be a bud. Give me some chip sphere, please. Oink, thank you for helping me. Oink. of the name Moon Tree comes from... Not interested. Now, now. It won't hurt you just to listen, will it? Moon Tree is run by a council of officers known as the Seven Council. You remember who Sakaki is, right? He is one of the officers. Man, I don't have time for this. Hey, Haseo, wait! Please wait!
We've got what we came here for. We're going back to the town. Huh? Hey! Um... Haseo? What? I've already heard enough about Moon Tree Guild. Haseo, do you... do you hear something coming from over there? Uh, nope. That can't be right. See? There is something there. Let's go find out what it is. Huh? Why do I have to go too? Just go check by yourself. Oh, come on. Won't you please come with me? Fine, fine. If it'll shut you up, I'll go with you. Thanks! It's this way. What a strange sound. Let's go see what it is, Haseo. What a strange sound. What a strange sound. Something coming from over there. Huh? What is it, Haseo? This sign. It's Triage. What? Triage? Is that what it's called? being sucked towards Triage's sign. Are we in the Lost Grounds? Wow, look at this underground lake! This might just be a fantastic new discovery, Haseo! guy. What's up with him? Mm. Well, let's go ask him. <laughs> Wait, please! <laughs> it's dangerous! Stop! Uh, uh, uh. What? What are these guys? 
get them? Whew. All done. You two okay? Uh, it doesn't seem like I'm very welcomed here. Well, whatever. Hey you, over there, are you okay? Uh, what... what happened to me? What do you mean, what happened? I think I was attacked by a strange monster. Then I heard... A loud sound that startled me, and uh, I don't remember anything after that. What the? Did she faint in real life, too? At any rate, I'm glad I got here in time. Who are you? Who, me? Oh, I'm, uh... Well, I'm an investigator for CC Corp. One of the system administrators? A game master? Well, something like that. I got a report about a bug in this area, and so I rushed right over. So, that monster was actually a bug? Right. It would probably be best to stay away from here until the data finishes repairing. No. There's no way in hell that was a bug data. How could a player faint from something like that? Not to mention, what was that... That giant puppet thing that defeated the monster. Puppet? So, you were able to see the Avatar. Avatar? That's right, Mr. Haseo, the Terror of Death. Do CC Corp investigators usually remember a player's nickname? Hardly. I couldn't help but think it was too much of a coincidence to meet up with you here. What? Nothing. Just talking to myself. I bet that you would like to know a lot more about avatars. Am I right? Not really. You can use one too. Huh? The fact that you were able to see my avatar means that you and your character have the right attributes. Haseo, your character hides something. There is a dangerous power inside you. Come on. Come over to our headquarters and you'll see. And while you're at it, you might be able to get some info on Triedge. How did you... Who told you about that? Like I said, that's just one more reason why you should come. Looks like this is a big fiasco. How can you just brush off something that happened to you like this? What's... what's wrong, Haseo? Why are you acting so scary all of a sudden? If we hadn't been lucky, you'd have... No. It's nothing. Oh. Okay. But I caused you a lot of trouble with what happened, right? So you realize it. I'm sorry. Um... Do you think... that you could give me another chance? Listen, the next time you invite me, make it somewhere where we can level up.
CC Corp. There's a good chance they'd know something normal players wouldn't. No matter how insignificant it might be, as long as I can get some information on Shino and Triedge, I don't care. Kuhn's waiting for me in the mercenary district. I'd better hurry. Supposed to meet Kuhn in the mercenary district. Hey there, Haseo. Ah. What? What's with the scary face? You mad at me or something? Nothing. Just hurry up and take me to this raven place. Um, you don't like me, do you? Get real. Okay, so, let me explain it to you. The at-home is a specialized room that each guild has in the game. And guilds are comprised of individual players that form their own group. To put it simply, a guild is like a baseball team, and at home is like the team dugout, where everybody hangs out while playing the game. But it doesn't matter to a solo player like me. Let's go. Hold it. Actually, it does matter to you. Listen, buddy. To get into At Home, you need a pass called a Guild Key for that guild. Mm -hmm. 
So, here you go. Take it. Alrighty, let me officially welcome you to our guild, Raven. Haseo, make yourself comfortable. <sighs> You're the old hag from the other day! <sighs> huh? You two know each other? Of course not. <laughs> this is Pi. She's a member of Raven like me. And Pi, this is... I get it now. So that thing the other day was all just to invite me here. Well, get this, Granny. You can try to seduce me, but old hags don't interest me. I get the creeps just picturing you in real life. What? Get this guy out of here right now, Coon. I don't care if he is a chosen one. We can't leave our task to someone like this. Unfortunately, Pi, I'm afraid that decision is up to Yata. Yata? There's no need to involve Master Yata. What's a yata? A person? You be quiet. Kuhn, I'm sure that you can understand. Yes, he's here. What? Alone? Are you sure? But sir, he's... I understand. Come with me. Master Yada will see you now. What is this place? It's pretty bleak, that's for sure. Welcome to the Serpent of Lore, Haseo. It took you quite a long time to get here. I've been waiting for you. Are you the Yata that Kuhn and the Hag were talking about? Nice setup. So, is this an administration-only area? I've heard of them, but I didn't know they actually existed. You sure it's all right to let a regular player like me in here? Won't your boss get mad at you, Mr. Admin? Nice to meet you, though it feels very strange to be saying that to you. I have been watching you for quite some time. Huh? There has been a development in the world that defies the system parameters. One of the effects, or perhaps I should say targets of that development, is that there are a variety of phenomena manifesting in the world. You yourself have experienced one of these developments, the forced reformatting of your character data. You have been spying on my... on Haseo's past! Who in the hell gave you the right to... You are the one who called me an admin, right? To administer means to observe, to protect, and to manage. Both Triage and the phenomena that happened to you are under my administration. We have only upheld the obligations of our job. <sighs> a bug that is not a bug. Ideally, that kind of phenomena would never exist in the world. But, as you can see, it indeed does exist. Our overall designation for this phenomena is Ida. Ida? 
Huh? For now, none of the general users of the game know anything about it. That is somewhat to be expected at its current level. However, you have already encountered it, and you have seen firsthand the sort of threat and danger it possesses. You have seen it and experienced it yourself. Try it. The name of the skill he had used on you is called Data Drain by us. Data Drain? Whatever it is, I've never heard of a skill that can actually lower your lep. You already understand what I am referring to. That Triage is a phenomena that defies system parameters. You mean Triage is Ida? Perhaps. We cannot deny the possibility. Don't give me that! How the hell could an admin not know a single reason for a bug's existence? Investigating a bug that's not a bug is difficult. Likewise, we are also investigating what happened to the character known as Shino, as well as her player. Uh, what? So, you guys knew all along that the real-life Shino is in a coma? We would like to try and understand what the connection is between an online PK and a player becoming comatose before this little problem of ours has time to become public knowledge. Uh, what are you talking about before it becomes public knowledge? Are you just trying to cover it up for yourselves? It's all your fault that she know that she's gone. I'm afraid that is not true. It is not our fault that she became comatose after the incident. The one that injured her, as well as the one that leveled you down, is Triage. Isn't that correct? You guys are responsible for letting it happen! Then, are you saying that we should have shut down the game entirely? I do not believe so. After all, the key that is needed to solve the riddle of Ida, Triage, and the comatose players is right here in this game, the world. We share a common interest. Are you telling me to cooperate with you? I don't get it. How is my cooperation going to help you guys out? It's simple. The only thing we want from you, Haseo, is the power that is hidden inside of your character. Your character was especially created by CC Corporation for their past project. Power? Project? You mean, my character is somehow special? That's correct. You are a chosen one. Uh huh? Characters like yours are known as epitaph users. Kuhn and Pi are epitaph users as well. That hag! At this point, the only ones capable of combating Ida's are you epitaph users. So this character's one of them, huh? This better not be some really elaborate new event or something. In other words, you're telling me that you guys need me to help you with debugging the game, right? As I made clear to you earlier, we want nothing more than to contain these unruly phenomena. And the only things that can do that are, in fact, the avatars. And avatars are an epitaph user's power, right? Yes. But I don't know how to use anything like that. That is because your avatar has not awakened yet. So then basically, I just have to learn to use that puppet thingy. If I can learn to use that, then I can go up against Triage. Shino. If I help you guys out, I'll be able to use those avatar things, right? Of course. It would be rather troublesome for us if you could not. Sure thing. I'll help you out. But I won't take any orders from anyone. Understand? That is my only condition. Wait! It's dangerous for a player like him to gain that kind of power! Master! Hmm. 
He's telling you to be quiet, you old hag. Why are you using a player like him? His avatar would have eventually awakened, with or without our help. You must already know that. As you can see and feel, his epitaph has already started to awaken within him. I heard you've joined GU. Glad to have you with us. GU? Oh, didn't Yata explain it to you? The guild name that we use, Raven, is just a front. What our group is really called is GU. What's that? I heard it was a project name for CC Corp or something. Whatever. I don't care. I just need you to hurry up and tell me how to summon my avatar. How to summon the Avatar, huh? Come on already! I'm in a hurry here! <laughs> Sorry, um, correct me if I'm wrong here, but... Are you thinking that there's some specific spell to summon an Avatar? There's not? Nope. But, if there were, we would have it a whole lot easier. Okay then, how do you summon yours? Hmm, well... I think it would probably be better just to show you while we're out adventuring. Wouldn't you agree? Then let's go. It doesn't matter what area it is, right? Well, yeah, I suppose that's true. But, unfortunately, I've got an appointment to keep. I'll be sure to contact you later. Hey, wait! Damn it. What the hell? <sighs> oh, well. I guess I'll just head on back to town then.
Fanpage.
What's that again? Course unknown. Fuel insufficient. Function shut down. Emergency landing. Passing life form detected. Begin fuel request. Beep. Gym sphere, please. Oink. Let's get going!
Are you having fun running into me? <laughs> what? Please, help me! First, get off of me! Move! Now what do I do? I mean, I was supposed to open up the shop together with Syllabus. But when we finally went to open the shop up, there wasn't close to being enough inventory in our storage. What are we gonna do? There's no time left! What should we do? Our customers will be here any minute now! Are they rare items? No. I need to restock on... Let me think. Ten black beans and ten almond jelly. Ten Asian mangoes and ten caramel sauces. Yeah, I think that's what we're missing right now. Aren't those sold in other shops? Just buy some and sell them yourselves. Oh, you're right. Then, then, then... Haseo, come on! Help me buy all the supplies that we need. Huh? Why do I have to help you? Here's the money, Haseo. I said I'm not doing this. Oh, come on, Haseo. You go buy and deliver the Asian mangoes and the caramel sauces to Syllabus when he gets here in the Central District, okay? Great! Thank you so much for your help. Are you kidding? How did I get involved in all of this? Ah, uh, the hell with it. I guess I'll help them out. Just this one time. Let's see. I need 10 Asian mangoes and 10 caramel sauces. And then give them to Syllabus in the Central District Town Square when he gets here.
Got him! Thanks a lot for helping us out, Haseo. Once Gaspard gets here, we'll be all set. Hey, what are you guys doing? Oh, I guess you've never done it before. Done what? Well, manage a shop. Want me to explain how it works? Not really. Come on, Haseo. I think it would be good for you to learn what normal players do. Well, anyway... Gaspard sure is taking his time shopping for all of this. I wonder what's up with him. Hmm? What? It's a short mail from Gaspard. Apparently he got lost. Man, could that guy get any dumber? I've got to go find him. Let me tell you, I'm not moving an inch. Great. See you when I get back. Huh? Will you do me a favor? Watch over the shop while I'm out there looking for Gaspard. D don't be ridiculous! Just go ahead and close it down while you're gone! I can't do that. Our best customers will be here soon. So what? Just leave me out of this. You don't have anything to do, right? Or are you just afraid of dealing with the customers? What? Like hell I am. You'll be fine. Manners are very important even online. Remember to greet them properly. What am I, a preschooler? See ya. I'm off to look for Gaspard. How did I get stuck doing this? Excuse me? <clears throat> well, welcome! Dusty Miller, do you think you might have any here? Um, let's see. It looks like we've got just one. It's 6,000 GP. Hmm? So? What? Do you want it or not? Oh, yeah, sure. But I don't have enough money for it. You don't? Then I can't sell it to you. I was asked to watch over the shop, you know. I've got to do the job the right way. Oh. If you want something, you'll have to save up for it. I did save, but... Oh, it looks like it's all gone now. Your money's gone? Hey, don't you even remember how you spent your own money? No, I don't know. After all, it was Saku's turn up until yesterday. What? Saku's turn? Saku is my big sister. And, well, Saku was the one who was using this character yesterday. So then basically, you and your sister share that character by taking turns playing. Yeah. And you're telling me that your sister used all of the money that you had been saving up to buy it. What a great sister. No, really. It's fine. I was just going to buy her a birthday present with that money anyway. It's no big deal. Birthday? Yeah, you see, we're twins, so it's actually my birthday as well. Your birthday, huh? Fine. Then I guess I'll give you a discount. Oh, really? Yeah, and give my best to your sister. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, uh, by the way, my name is Bo. Uh, I, I promise that I'll pay you back the next time I come here. Uh, okay, Haseo?
So she's Saku and he's Bo. So Saku and Bo, huh? Hello! Welcome to. It's you. Well, this is unexpected. I never would have thought that you'd do these kinds of things, Haseo. <sighs> but your smile and the greeting that you gave to that boy was perfect and natural. <sighs> Maybe you work in a retail store in real life. Or like at a video rental place or something. Jeez, you're annoying. If you're not gonna buy anything, shut up and get lost. How rude. I will buy something. I'll be sure to make my contribution to the shop acorn. I wonder why I'm not the least bit excited about that. Hey, so what do you recommend? See? Not bad, huh? Guild shops have a pretty decent selection to choose from. Wow, you're totally right! And everything's so much cheaper here than it is at the NPC shops! To be honest, I didn't really want to bring you ladies here. Ah, Why not? Because then your eyes and attention will be rooted to something else other than me. And I just can't help but try and monopolize your beautiful eyes for as long as I possibly can. Oh, Cooney! Now don't worry about anything. One thing's for certain, I only have eyes for you! Please, don't look at me with those passionate eyes of yours. If you keep looking at me, with such a beautiful gaze like that, I just know that I'll be forever b b <clears throat> bound to you. <laughs> yo, Haseo, a long time no see. What do you mean, yo, you jerk? You sure look like you're having fun with the ladies there, Cooney. Oh no, this is just... well... I've got an appointment to keep. Did I really say that? While you are off flirting with all of those women, I have been stuck here in this shop. I've been... Kuni! Hurry up! Let's go play already! It's the Guildmaster! Wow, Kuni! You're really popular, aren't you? Um... yeah... Okay! I'll email you guys and girls later. Okay, see you then. Hey! So, Kuhn used to be part of your guild and he was the guild master. Our guild name, Kunard, comes from the stabilizer wings on airplanes. Actually, we chose that guild name because we thought it really represented Kuhn's dream to support first-time players of the world and help them relax and enjoy it. When I got lost, it was Kuhn that helped me. He was the one who rescued me. He taught us lots of ways to enjoy the game. I mean, you know how they say that the beginning to anything is key, right? I'm sure we wouldn't be playing like we are now if we hadn't... if we hadn't met Kuhn when we did. <sighs> I wonder, if I hadn't been PK'd on my very first encounter, the first day I logged into this game, if I hadn't met Ovan then, and if I hadn't met Shino, if we hadn't come across TriEdge, would I be laughing and enjoying this game like these guys are right now? Uh, what's wrong, Haseo? Oh, nothing. Of course, now that Kuhn is gone, there was no one around to organize Kennard. So, why did he leave? I'm not really sure why, but he said something about not wanting to get us involved. Mm-hmm. And here I was, thinking that he was kicked out of the guild for flirting too much. Oh, that. That's Kuhn's illness. If we worried about it, we'd never be able to keep up. An illness, huh? <laughs> what? Kuhn is sick? Well, it's not life-threatening. Nothing you have to worry about. You! You're still here? Yeah, well you never...
never told me to leave. Stop standing in my blind spot. Oh, so this is the Terror of Dust blind spot, huh? Ugh. Now, now. Anyway, thanks for watching the store, Haseo. Yeah, sure. Business kind of sucked, though. Not at all. Oh, yeah. Do you have any idea what Haseo did while you were gone? What are you guys chatting about? Oh, you gave a little boy a birthday present? Wow, you're such a nice guy, Haseo. Yeah, I guess you are. Damn girl. Ugh, she really needs to learn how to shut up and... You see that? Everyone really does want to treat other people nicely. I think it's because people can be more honest online than they can in real life. Hey, Haseo, why don't you officially join Kennard? Huh? I mean, I think you've got some real leadership skills. And I second that thought. Come on, let's do this together. I think it's a great idea. Just act like you did before. Okay, fine, fine. But it'll be a name only. You got it? Hey, I'm a very busy guy. All right. It'll take a little time to process you, but you should get an email later on. Okay, then. Glad to have you, Haseo, our new guildmaster. Yay! <laughs> Haseo is our new guildmaster! Congratulations, Haseo! Wait, what's this about guildmaster? Like I said before, you have some real leadership skills, Haseo. Oh, this is your reward for watching the store. Here, see ya. Bye. I'll see you later. Now then, I better be going too. Go, leave already. Today we're having a meeting at Moon Tree to help the victims of trading fraud. Would you like to join too? No way. <laughs> see you later then.
Oh, you're finally here. Then let's get going. The area words for our destination are Delta Great Cursed In-Laws. What? The old hag's coming too? Well, because there's no guarantee we won't come across any danger. Huh. You coming? Hurry up and invite me already. All right, we're here. So, let's get this started. Tell me, how the hell do you summon an avatar? You really are a brat, aren't you? Is that how you ask someone to help you? Your boss is the one who put me in GU. Shouldn't you guys be asking for my help? You damn! How dare you speak of Master Yada like- Okay, okay, that's enough. Listen. We didn't come here to fight, you two. I know that. Yada already told you, but well, let's recap. Our characters were originally created by CC Corporation several years ago as part of a project. That's what the Epitaph users are, right? So why does this make our characters so special? That's a CC Corp secret. Non-disclosure agreement? Actually, I don't know the answer to that. What about you, Pi? <laughs> anyway, Epitaph users are characters that have the ability to use avatars. To put it roughly, it's kind of like a transformation of your character data in the game. The power of an avatar can be surmised as an alteration of data. Altering data? You mean data drain? Yep. That's one of the abilities an avatar has. Try Edge use Data Drain to put me back to level one. So, he's an Epitaph user too? But wait, he didn't use an avatar. Then what the hell is he? Man, I'm getting confused. By activating their data altering abilities, Epitaph users are able to gain powers that far surpass the parameters included in the original game design. But that doesn't mean they can do anything. There are certain restrictions governing Epitaph users as well. Soon, you'll come to understand that. So to summon avatars, I just have to understand those rules? Basically. How? It's right here. Huh? Inside your heart, the player's own feelings and willpower are the origins of avatars. Yeah, right. Epitaph users are still just characters in a game, though, right? How does a bunch of binary data get influenced by feelings and will? Epitaph users' characters are different from normal characters. Different how? We're linked. To our characters, not just through our controllers and goggles, but through our hearts as well. Haven't you ever felt something like that, Haseo? When would I have felt that? Wait a minute. What the... Something is... Something is starting to... It's... It's growing. Let's hurry up and begin your lesson. Begin? You want to learn how to summon your avatar, don't you? Of course. Then, we'll battle here until you get it. Huh? Battle? Yes. Battles are the quickest way for you to sharpen your consciousness. And that will help you to awaken your avatar. 
Huh. So basically, you guys don't really know the proper way to do this, do you? Uh, you've got us there. For Pi and me, the entire process was more like an accident when we awakened our avatars. But that accident was fate. For now, let's fight this field's boss. Here's our chance! Here's our chance! <laughs> You're not getting away! Steel Blade! Russia! You're mine!
Here's our chance! Gale <laughs> Blade! Thunder! <laughs> 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 Your guard's down! Here's our chance! You're not getting away!
but how the hell am I supposed to activate the power? Try to figure that much out for yourself. Keep the image of summoning an avatar in your mind. Okay, the image of summoning an avatar. Summoning an avatar. I'll summon you, avatar. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Come on! <laughs> Haseo? Hey! Huh? How should we handle this? Here it comes! Alright! I'll finish it! Ha! Gale Blade! Pretty much what I expected. Haseo, are you doing okay? Hmm? I said shut up! I'm concentrating. I will summon it, so just shut up and watch! <sighs> Haseo, you have reached your limit. Let's call it a day. What's going on? Why won't my avatar appear? Uh, well... Maybe the problem's your lack of talent. What did you say? Even if you are one of the Epitaph users, if you, the player, don't know how to use it, well, then it's pointless. Yeah, right. You two just aren't teaching me the right way. Listen, if you guys can't even keep your promise to me, then the deal that I had with GU is off. Idiot. If you can't summon an avatar, then we don't need you to help us now. Come on, Pi. That's enough. Let's just call it a day, all right? All right. Let's head back, okay? Don't worry about it. We don't expect you to awaken that easily. Better luck next time. <sighs> anyway, just rest up for now. When you've got your stamina back, we'll give it another shot and try again. Well, see ya. Frankly, I'm glad that you weren't able to summon your avatar. Kuhn and I. Now do you understand why we needed two Epitaph users to support you? No. It's so we'll have enough power to suppress your avatar in the event it should go out of control or something. Suppress? Yes. If your avatar went berserk, we would not have hesitated to use Data Drain on you. In order to stop you. No matter what effect it may have had on you. Well, that's just cruel. Is it? Great risk comes with strength that is too powerful. Huh? Neither Kuhn nor myself can completely control the power of our avatars. Power that has escaped its user's hand will do nothing but destroy. This power really shouldn't even be used at all in the first place. But you, you plan to use that power.
Am I wrong? If you had gotten your avatar, you would be thrilled to use it. Even if it was the exact same power that hurt those that are most precious to you. You seem to know me well. Well, of course I do. It comes natural to me, don't you see? You and I are very much alike. Huh? I think it would be best if you didn't get involved in these matters anymore. Summoning an avatar won't make you happy. That I know for certain. Involved, huh? Well, for your information, if I could do that, I wouldn't be in the mess I'm in right now. Guildmaster, huh? Well, I guess I'll go to at home then. Since I am the guild master after all, I should check out canards at home.
I'm Grunty. You're Haseo. Oink. So you're the new guildmaster, huh? Oink. An NPC? My name is Death Grunty of the Grunty Race. I'm the manager of this at home. Oink. I won't accept someone like you. Oink. Huh? Managing a guild requires good instincts and talent. Oink. I'm gonna test you to see if you've got them. Oink. Okay, I'll give you two assignments. Oink. And if you can clear both of these assignments, I just might consider accepting you as the guildmaster. Oink. Here's your first assignment. Oink. The three sacred treasures of the Grunty race. Grunty's hat. Grunty's shoe. Grunty's brush. You need to cooperate with your guild members to gather these. Oink. My companions hold the sacred treasures. Oink. If you get down on your knees and beg sincerely, I'm sure you can get them to lend the treasure to a lowlife like you. Oink. My companions are wandering around the city. Hurry up and find them and bring back the sacred treasures. Oink. I don't like him. I don't like this obnoxious, weird rodent at all. <laughs> I guess Grunty's event started. What event are you talking about? It's the Guildmaster Certification Event for our guild. When you first become a Guildmaster, Grunty gives you an assignment. I don't want to run errands for a stupid NPC. But if you don't clear the event that the Grunty gave you, you'll never be able to use all of At Home's features. So, what kind of trial were you given, Haseo? He told me to find some rare items. I don't think I had a trial like that. Fine, whatever. I can get those items if I just find that thing's companions in the town, right? I'll finish this up in no time. Good luck, Haseo! We're counting on you! <laughs> the sun sets again today! <laughs> How sad! <laughs> How romantic! <laughs> and with myself standing in the twilight, I am the ultimate man! <laughs> hey! You're pretty manly yourself! <laughs> but you're no match for me! <laughs> hmm? So, you want to obtain my manliness for yourself? <laughs> Sure! <laughs> There's always room to be even more manly! <laughs> First, you need to work hard until the sunset has burned itself into your eyes! <laughs> Welcome to the Ship of Twilight, Haseo Nero. I have been waiting for you to come here for a long time, Nero. So moved that you're speechless, Nero? Hmm. I know just what it is that you're looking for, Nero. It is not that hard for me to guess, Nero. Go on and take this with you, Nero. Now go and be well, Nero.
It feels like the river is sucking in my soul. Ooh, you. It's so beautiful and peaceful. Ooh, you. My grandma said that there's a palace for fishes at the bottom of the water. Ooh, you. I'm sure there are canned tuna and smoked salmon swimming happily there. Ooh, you. I want to go. You, you. Hmm? You want something? Ooh, you. I think I smell death grunty on you. Oh, you. The smell tells me that you want something. Who you? You want this, right? Who you? Well, goodbye! Who you? Oh, I want to go to the Palace of Fishes. Who you? Just thinking about it makes me drool. Who you? You're Haseo. You're late. Oink. What took you so long? You're as slow as a pig. Oink. Come on. Hurry up and give me the sacred treasures. Oink. Here, I'll give you this in exchange. Oink. Here is your second assignment. Oink. Sell that item with the help of your guild members. Oink. Now get going. Oink. Perfect. You're already great at shopkeeping, Haseo. I'm not going to be a vendor again. Well, why not? You were so good at it before. Okay, then. I'll be the vendor instead. You can open up the menu if you talk to Death Grunty. Put the item that Death Grunty just handed over to you into the shop's stock list. I'll do my best to try and sell the item. So just sit back and wait, Haseo. Oh, and be sure to come collect the money by stopping by the guild shop in the central district, okay? What? What do you mean? Why do I have to go collect the money? Because it's one of your duties as the guild master. Man, what a pain. Fine then, I'll do it.
Oh, you're the kid who came to the shop the other day. Bo, right? I am so glad to see you. I wanted to give you the rest of the money, you know, that I owe you from the other day. Don't worry about that. I gave you the discount. But... Quit being stubborn. Just shut up and accept my goodwill. Thank you. I think that I... Uh, I really like that about you, Haseo. What, what the hell are you saying? <laughs> well, you know, that's just what I think anyway. <sighs> so, uh, what are you playing today? Are you a store clerk again? Well, something like that. Do you know about guild masters? Yep. Well, now I'm one. I'm in the middle of one of those events. So, you're a guild master. Way to go, Haseo! Uh, yeah. Oh, okay then! Congratulations on completing the Guildmaster event, Haseo! Yay! Congratulations, Haseo! Hey, you didn't have to go and buy... Jeez, it's fine, really. I just... I just wanted to help you out, Haseo. But... Just shut up and accept my goodwill, all right? <laughs> oh, I see. Goodwill, huh? Well, thanks. I'll trust you about the length of a nose hair. Oink. Come on now, don't get angry. Don't get angry. It's just a stupid NPC. But I won't accept you as the Guildmaster. Oink. I might be willing to employ you as my servant. Oink. <sighs> That's the kind of response it gave me when I became the Guildmaster, too. It's a pretty weird event. That's right. Calm down. This is just an event. It's just an event. This should be appropriate for a servant such as you. <laughs> what do you think you're doing, you pig? I'm not a pig. I'm a grunty. That charm I put on you is something you should be grateful for. It'll monitor your every little move. It's been carved inside you, so there's no way you can remove it. This way, I can tell exactly how hard you're working for my guild. Boink. It is called the Charm of 1000. Boink. All right, Haseo. Work for my guild like the workhorse that you are. Boink. Haseo, you can probably ride the steam bike now. That's true. I'm pretty sure that the condition for getting and riding the steam bike was to clear the first Grunty event. Go on and give it a shot. 
it's a lot easier to move around the cities and fields with one. Go on and give it a shot. It's a lot easier to move around the cities and fields with one. Hello? Can you hear me? Boy. Where are you talking to me from? Don't bother looking for me. Boy. I'm using the charm I affixed to you to talk directly into your brain. Boy. Oh. Who are you to order me around? Did you say something? Boink. You can hear me? I know everything. Boink. Don't bother trying to hide from me. Boink. in the lower right corner of the screen will always be displayed, so I'm sure you'll be fine. Boy.
So, is the Grunty event finally finished? Man, I'm so tired. I think I'll log out and check my email.